Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, one Honda Vision for sale in the UK. We've got to buy it. Cue the intro. Where are we going this time, Alan? We're going to Gloucester, mate. Mate, I've not even had my dinner. I'll get you McDonald's. It better not be a Happy Meal this time. I'll buy you two Happy Meals. How's that? Big Mac? Whatever. You have a Big Mac, fries, milkshake, you can fill your boots. Right. But the thing is, the reason why we're going is I've had a vision about a vision. Do you know what I mean? What am I getting roped into this time? Well, you see, I've got a really good plan, um, and I know you've been away, so you've only just come back, so you've probably not seen the videos, but I've had an amazing plan about buying a Honda Vision from the 1980s, and then... What, 50cc? Yeah, 50cc, right? Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make it comically amazingly fun, including potentially strapping rockets to it, then we're going to ride well, I'm going to ride the Honda Vision to the end of the world. Right. And what everybody wants to really know is, the you game? Are you going to come? So there's nobody else wants to go with you, really, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, but no. But people might come along, but I don't know. But I'm going to do it. Look, you know your mum won't be happy if I don't come with you. Because somebody's got to look after you. So I suppose I'll have to, really, wouldn't I? So you're going to hold my hand, then, yeah? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so you've got to buy a 50cc, it's got to be amazingly a bag of nails. It's got to be pretty rubbish then, is what you're saying. Yeah, all daft, and then we're going to ride to the end of the world, that's Skeg Vegas. We're going to buy cheap, nasty tents, we're going to sleep there. Well, you might sleep there, <laughs> I'll probably go in a five-star hotel. And then we're going to spend a day riding along the coastline, collecting items, because the bike I bought comes with its own shopping basket. I can put items in the shopping basket, right? As we're going along for the charity run. And it will just be absolutely awesome. We'll raise as much money as we can for the, one of the biggest, most important charities, PTSD UK. And we're going to collect stuff on the way on that day. And then we're going to ride all the way back again. So we've gone to the end of the world. We would have bought some really cool stuff. And we're going to ride back again. And we're going to do it in style. And I'm talking glitter jackets. Rockets on the bike, smoke coming out the back, flags off of it, some crazy stuff in the shopping basket, and we'll do all this to raise money for PTSD. It's good, isn't it? Oh god. Alright. Yeah? Alright, we'll do it. Good, because the one I bought says it's ropey starter, and as you're <laughs> the as you're like the scooter king, the the the, the man that builds them. Dude, project! Alright. Yes! What are you doing? I'm looking at vests, glitter vests. Um, and I reckon I'm going to go for gold and extra, extra large so it'll fit over my jacket. Do you want the pink one? What do you want them now? What are you getting that for? When we go, the plan is, is that we're going to wear glitter vests over our jacket so we sparkle because we want to draw as much attention to us as possible. Um, so I think I'll go for gold. But there's, there's, there's loads of colours. You can have black, blue, red, purple, silver, or pink. I'm not having pink. What about pink? No. Purple? No. 
No, silver or blue. Alright, silver or blue for you, gold for me. Sorted. Well, we're still going. We've got, how long have we got left to go? Half an hour. Half, half an hour left to go. We're still bombing along on the motorway. It's not exciting to watch. But anyway, Darren's now had, what, how long have we had? An hour and a half since I've told you the plan? Yeah, about that, yeah. So what is your what is your vision for what you want to buy for the trip? Um, obviously, I don't want to get another Vespa, so I've already done that. Uh, and I'll probably get something less cooler than your than your bike this time, because obviously my Vespa is way cooler than Monkey Bike. But I'll let you have the glory this time. I'm going to see if I can get something really janky and horrible and crap. Just anything that's junky. Like a, I don't know. Maybe a pedal and pray. So you're going to pedal and pray it starts every time. Yeah. If I can find one, I think it's a bit too much money now, don't they? They do. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe a little Honda Express. Is that going to be quicker than the Vision? Because it's an Express. If I could have like the Vision and it'd be awesome, and then you would have the Express that would just go meow. Yeah, or maybe, or maybe a Melody. I don't know. We'll have to see. Need some something that's eighties or seventies that's rubbish that nobody wants. It's going to be but cheap. It might not be rubbish. It could be absolutely amazing. It could be the best. Yeah. Motor, moped, scooter you've ever bought in the world. Could be. Could be. Well, then that kind of defeats the object a bit, I don't know. Well, don't, we want, don't we want something that's not rubbish? We do, well, yeah, we do, but you that's might what be. Brought. You bought something that's rubbish. Right, mine's a vision, mate. Mine is going to be the charity, what? the awesome, the machine that everybody will want by the end of this trip. What does it say in the description for it, though, Alan? It says it doesn't run properly. Yeah, but that's why you became the sidekick, so you can you you can re like remedy these things. Maybe you might sabotage it. We might be able to have a race as well, so <laughs> we can get this going. Whatever you get, especially if it's supposed to be the same air engine or close to it, if you get an express or or a pedal and pray, it'd be interesting which one's faster. Now you've got to remember, I'm fatter, so I'm on a disadvantage again. Yeah, maybe I might I might kind of end up dying before we go then. I might go and die. I might only eat two pucker pies a day. So I'm just saying. But yeah, are you going to um, are you going to do anything like are you going to paint yours neon green and and have pink wheels or? Um... Uh, we'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to see. If we get something that nice, I might not want to ruin it. What about rainbow colours? I have every colour in it possible. Uh, well, what, what I'm supposed to be representing with the rainbow colours? A charity fundraiser. Oh, okay. This is not to do with gay pride, mate. <laughs> if you want to, you know, if you want to do it for gay pride or or whatever you want to do, you're welcome to. No, we'll yeah, we'll see. I don't want to get anything Chinese, though. No. Again, what's wrong with the Chinese? No, nothing. They're just, <laughs> Sorry, they're all too new and they're not really worth anything for a reason. Yeah, but so. okay. Well, whatever, you've just, I, I like... I I love, maybe people can come up with some ideas. Maybe if people see something for sale, they can message it to you. We can have a look. Yeah, but we haven't got like six months, mate. This has no, got to no, be quick. Well, this has got to happen. They've got to be quick as well, then. Maybe if somebody's got something sitting in the shed, that they think, I can sell it to these guys for a, a reasonable price. Not like three or fifty p. <laughs> yeah, that will be good. <laughs> well, I'm going to strap rockets to mine. Are you going to put anything on yours? You could, you could potentially, you could have NOS, you could have cans of brew straight into the air engine again. Uh, well, being as we're going to be riding for such, for such a long distance, I might see if I can put something on there that's going to help me keep riding. So what maybe some, you'll fix yours. <laughs> maybe, maybe something to go so I can go to the toilet while I'm riding. How about that? Like when you're in your camp van, you're going to get yeah. your bottle. I can strap it to your willy hanging out. I can have a special bottle strapped on with a pipe coming out so I can go to the toilet while, while I'm riding. What if you need a number two? Well, I'll have to hold that in. See, if I need a number two, because I'll be in front of you, because I'm on a vision, I'll obviously just, just put my pants down and poo and let it come out <laughs> backwards. So just don't ride along with your mouth open, is my only suggestion. Especially if I hit the special button with the rocket, rockets and poo, mate. That's going to be, you know, that'll be an interesting spe spectacular view. Yeah. 
Yeah. So make sure you've got your camera on at that point as well. Is that right? <laughs> so yeah, we, yeah, we'll. I think what we're pretty much saying here, well, the psychic saying is that we'll we'll see what he, he can find. Basically, if anybody sees anything, let him know. Obviously, I'm sorted and and we'll fix it. Um, but yeah. The, the, we've got to find something now for the psychic and the more daft and silly the better because the more people that see it the more money we're going to raise for PTSD UK anyway I'm I'm really hungry now um, but hopefully we're going to get the vision first and eat but we're just going to see because we're both hungry and we're both pigs and we both want to eat but yeah next stop hopefully is the vision get it on board start heading back Vision, the dream is in the back. It, it was one lady owner from you, bless her, um, and it, she was promised herself that she would ride it until she was 60 and get a bus pass. She's obviously gone past 60 and it was 67, but she finds it too heavy, let alone, as you can see, it can be picked up with one hand, bless her. But anyway, sidekick, what do you think to that? I feel a bit guilty now because she was crying when now we've loaded it up. Was she? Yeah. Well, you better go quick then. I don't want to. I don't want to upset her anymore. Look, it has got a genuine Honda basket on the front. The whole thing is With genuine. Some proper bale string on it as well. So that's to hold the French the French bread in, so it doesn't fall out. That's what that's for. And your milk. And your, your Japanese and though, isn't it supposed to be like sushi and raw fish? Yeah, but and we're things. in England, don't we? Yeah, we don't eat. We're not. We some... don't eat sushi, mate. That just... <laughs> but get some French. That gives you the poo. Should, should be pies. <laughs> Pies and sausages then. Pies, sausages in a full English. <laughs> All the ingredients that you need. I like, the, I like the idea of the baguette though. The baguette sounds cool. Oh, I'm well impressed. It looks, don't get me wrong, there's some scratches on it and it's really old. Good but it's, in, it's, it's actually going to be alright, isn't it? It's good nick, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I need food now, mate. Let's, yeah, let's, 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 go and, let's go and get a Mackey D's. Mackey D's. But yeah, I'm dead happy. Happy days. So, mate, what did you get? Big Mac meal. Yeah. And a chicken mayo with a strawberry milkshake. So why do you go for the girls' option? What do you mean the girls' option? Well, girls drink the strawberries. They go for the chicken mayo because they think it's healthier than eating another cheeseburger. A real man gets a Big Mac, another cheeseburger, and a banana milkshake because everything banana and yellow is the best in the world. Yeah, but that's why I've got an athletic figure and you've got a fat man's figure. Yeah, but I'm happy. Just saying. Okay, so we got back last night quite late, about 10 or going on towards 11 o'clock. We unloaded it, I put it in the garage. So it's the next day, and I think it's time that I showed you the vision. Now, just remember, there's some jobs to be done, but check out this little baby, right from the early 80s. Check it out. <laughs> Okay, so there's a few things. Okay, so it's not been used in a little while, bless her. The old deer that had it, put it in a garage. So the tyres themselves are pretty flat. 
they need a good pumper, but they look decent, so hopefully they'll be all right. Being a two-stroke, we don't have to mess around with any oil or anything like that, because obviously it's fed straight in. But the actual bike itself, the exhaust side of things has been recently replaced. It's had a few knocks and bashes and scratches, but hey, what would you expect? Um, the top box side of things, it's got one. An original one as well, we've broken, so I'm going to put some new hinges on there. Fix that. I mean, look at that, it's got the paperwork there for it. And then, of course, the legendary basket. We can put our French stick and our little toys that we get along the way. A little bit of paint on there, that'll look absolutely awesome. I still don't know exactly what graphics we're going to have done to this, but like I said, anybody that donates towards the bike um, and sort of doing it up, etc., on the Just Giving, we'll get their name put somewhere, probably on the bike, probably on the side, maybe in the Tox box, but we're going to deal with graphics and talk about them later. But yeah, so this little vision, one owner from you, 8,219 miles, and apparently it's only ever been to work that was down the road during its entire life into the shops so it's never been on an adventure so we're going to take it on its first ever adventure but ideally the battery on it's dead so i'm going to try and charge the battery probably end up replacing it because why wouldn't i replace the spark plug clean out the carb and i reckon she'll run really well but we'll find that out but ladies and gentlemen this is the ptsd uk charity vision we managed to buy it we paid literally just just under 400 quid it was 398 quid paid for this and that's the most I would have ever spent on something like this. Um, plus, obviously, we've got to get the graphics done. We've got, got quite got a funky little things I want to do to this to make this happen. Get as much sort of awareness about this bike and the stuff I'm going to get, to obviously, so we can raise as much money for PTSD UK. Like I said, the graphics aren't done. So if you're interested, YouTube channel, and you want your name on there, for £30 or more donated to just give in for the purchase of this and getting all the graphics done and all the funky stuff that we're going to get done. And when I say funky, like I said, my plan is to have rockets on it. Um, and if anybody wants a name on it, it's exactly the same, 30 quid or more to help towards pay towards for those funky graphics. But there we go. The vision, the awesome machine. I can see it now. It's going to be so cool. I mean, think about it. That cool graphics put on it, rockets on the back. You can have sparkly things coming off of there basket full of stuff PTSD UK written all over it all the people that have donated the helmet head channel logo all of it on there funky sparkly awesome 85 miles all the way to the coast in one day next day cruising along the coastline enjoying the sun sapping along at 28 miles an hour with a sangria in hand and then an 85 miles back and the giggles and laughs we're going to have we jumped over a human last time what can this do? It's going to be so much fun. Okay, so what I've done is, all I've literally done is um, put some air now in the vision um, and I've put the battery on charge just to, you know, see if the battery's any good before I bother to spend money replacing it. It's probably knackered, but hopefully next time we're on, we'll see if it starts off the starter. It's got to be worth a go, hasn't it, before we start doing things to it. But yeah, it's charging away, fingers crossed, within a day or so on the little... Um, optimate it will uh, get it up and if it's any good we'll find out and we'll see if it starts but happy days so there you go there is the vespa all we're going to do now like i said is we're going to charge up the battery test it out i'll probably change things like the spark plug etc etc to make sure it's safe but yeah i reckon it's going to be an interesting little project i'm dead happy with it i've like i said my vision is happening things are going on which is really cool but anyway, I just want to say thank you to all the people that subscribed and follow the channel. I also want to say a massive thank you to my patrons as always. Please remember, if you want to see the videos before anyone else, the patron is the way to go and it helps financially support this channel. So big thank you to those guys. But as always, until the next episode when we probably will try and start the vision up, eat pies, ride motorcycles, be happy. Take care. Bye-bye for now.